today we're going to do a demonstration video on how to hang some pencil pleat curtains. I've taken these curtains straight out of the packet and we'd always recommend if you look on the inside of the curtain tape you can see some ironing instructions to follow those clearly and lightly iron any creases straight out before going to the next step. Okay, so this is the next job, is to knot off one end at the top of the curtains. If you don't knot off one end, you could potentially pull all the cords through, which will ruin the curtain tape, and you'll pretty much have to stitch it back on, so it's very important that you knot this off properly. Pull these out, pull them out right from the end. You hold all three together, and then pull the tape up slightly. It's a little bit easier if you twist the cords together, and then all you need to do is a simple granny knot, do a nice big loop, and then pull the remainder of the cord through like that and then once you've knotted it off you can tuck it in between and the next step we need to know is what is the finished width of each individual curtain this is really straightforward there are a pair of curtains so one on each side so the width you need to pull the curtains up to is from the center of the um, pole we've got here to the edge of where the finial is, basically where the curtain's gonna cover. So for example, this one would be 115 centimeters. And that's what we need to pull the curtain tape up to. All curtains are double gather. This one's 229 centimeters. We're gonna pull up the heading tape on this now. So it's 115, so it'll then fit the curtain pole. Right, okay, so then you need to go to the other end. You've got the same as last time. You've got your three cords, your top, your middle, and your bottom. Pull out these cords. You can start gathering up your curtain tape. You want to try and get the pencils or the gather in the curtain as even as possible. So it's not all like in one area. Probably just spend a minute or so trying to get it spread out as evenly as you can. And that's it. And then we've got these three cords on the end. We need to tidy up. Okay, so now the next job is to put a slip knot to tie these ends off in the uh, cords of the curtain tape. So top trick, it's a little bit easier if you twist all three cords together like this, and then one over the other, and pulling it through. Just like that, you've done a slip knot, and then you can push that into the curtain tape. Okay, so if you have a look at a close up of the curtain pole, you can see here are all the different rings. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we've got to divide those 15 rings by the 69 pockets to see how far apart they need to be. When you put the curtain hooks in, you can see the pockets on the curtain tape here. There's three different levels that you can put them in depending on how high you want the curtains. For curtain poles, we normally recommend them put them in the top level. Then you simply slide the hooks in upside down and twist them in the right way around like that. And then you simply need to work across the tape every five or four, so it's evenly spread. So these 15 hooks spread all the way across and that's it. Right, okay, now it's the final step. Find something safe to stand on. And then all you need to do is put the hooks into the rings on the pole and do one at a time and go along. Okay, so that's that side. And then you simply need to do the same with the other side of the pole and that's finished. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe in the link below. Thank you.